Hey everyone, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. This is a type of video I wish I didn't have to do. But due to a couple reasons, first of all, I've been in IT for quite a while and hyper fixated on uh, security uh, for my company as well as my family. Uh, and secondly, I've noticed a um, uptick in what I consider attacks on both my channel as well as other channels that I view, uh, that I have friends or um, people I work with on YouTube that um, have other channels related to Splinterlands and other play to earn games and other Web3 games have are having these same type of attacks occur on their uh, videos. And um, don't belittle it. Uh, it, they are an attack, okay? Uh, we've all heard of the attacks called phishing attacks. These are the most successful attacks um, uh, committed against people worldwide. And that's why in this day and age, you have to be uh, really aware of this stuff um, and alert. So this is gonna be a short one, but I wanted to pre uh, preface what I was going to say, okay? Let's jump in and take a look at what I'm talking about. So the statements are all a little bit different, but um, they all basically accomplish the same thing okay so let's take a look at this statement um, and don't get it wrong this person is fishing to try to get you to use this information to perpetuate a uh, attack on your crypto wallet let me preface this by saying for people who watch my channel who don't do crypto a wallet is something that um uh, your crypto is held in. It can be uh, what's referred to as a cold wallet, which is off the chain, which is sitting in your uh, sitting in your drawer of your desk and like a USB drive or something like that. Or it can be online in an app. It can be uh, online on a website. It's where you store your crypto. One of the first things you do when you set up your crypto wallet is you get a seed phrase, okay? And the seed phrase is how you can recover that wallet if you ever happen to lose the account, lose your, um, like if, you, if it's on a, a, a physical type device, like a, they look like flash drives sort of, um, then in the future you can use that seed phrase, which is a series of secret words to recover what's in your wallet. Now, right up front, whenever you create a, uh, a new wallet, they always tell you, do not give this seed phrase out. I have never created a wallet where they did not warn you in big letters. Do not give this out. Okay, so keep this in mind and let's look at this statement. Great analysis. They always say something like that, like, hey, it's a great video. And then they say, I have a quick question. I have a SafePal wallet with USDT, which is a type of crypto, and I have the seed phrase. And they go ahead and they put the whole seed phrase out here, which is just a series of regular words in English, uh, usually. Um, now, you'll see that I blocked out a few because I didn't want any of you to try this, okay? Um, but I just wanted you to see that it's a long list of regular words that you can use to recover your wallet, uh, crypto wallet, should you have to. Okay, so they put this out there um, numbers of times a day because I see this all the time. And then it says, could you explain how to move them to Binance, which is where you would buy, sell, trade crypto, kind of like a stock market type thing. So I just wanted to put this out there. I want you to be very aware of what you're taking in, okay? So obviously the scam, um, it's a phishing attempt, okay? Uh, their end goal is for you to think, hey, the, this person is dumb. This person put their seed phrase out. I can grab that seed, seed phrase and recover their wallet and steal their crypto, what they have, okay? That's what they want you to think. But... Um, and I had to look this up and look into it a little bit, and I don't have any specifics, but basically what would happen is if you did that, you would compromise any wallet you had. A lot of people use apps on their phone. A lot of people, I use cold wallet, which is, uh, like I said, it's a little device that you store in your, um, store in your drawer uh, or in your firebox, uh, what have you. But a lot of times those wallets have a number of other things in it. So uh, you could have some Bitcoin, you could have some Litecoin, you could have some Dogecoin. And if you try to recover that passphrase in that wallet, your wallet is now compromised. And guess what? They got what you got. Okay. So I just want to put that out there. Obviously a, lot, a large part of my crowd is pretty crypto savvy being in the Web3. So you, you might have picked up on this. 
Um, but there's also a large part of my crowd that is a uh, play to earn type gaming crowd that's not really into crypto. Either way, I wanted to put this warning out there for you to be very aware of this and not fall for it. OK, because the last thing I would want to uh, have happen is s one of my subscribers or persons that watch my video to fall for this kind of scam. So uh, once again, this is Bronze Dragon bringing you a little bit of, uh, I guess, consider it a warning uh, heads up and keep an eye out on that, especially if you have a YouTube channel. I try to keep up with all the ch um, um, replies and remove those as uh, soon as I see them. But once in a while, something might get by. So either that, uh, anyway, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, be aware out there and be safe.